Okay guys, so today we are going to be using Fusion 360 for the first time and we're going to be using it to create a chess piece. So a chess piece is probably the simplest project we're going to do. Um, I'm going to give you a little pointers real quick just to get started with Fusion 360. So first, what you're going to notice is when you just click, it's just going to create like a, um, like a box and go away. So if you want to change your view of what you're looking at, there's a couple different ways to do this. The easiest way is up here in this upper right hand corner, you have this cube and it tells you what plane you are looking at. So let's say I wanted a front view, which we don't have anything created yet, but if I wanted a front view of it, I click here and it would give me a front view. Or you can use these little arrows and I'm on the right side view. And then if I want to go back to the home view, you just click on this little house and it'll take us back here. Um, another thing, if you want to zoom in and out of what you're working on, you just use the scroller wheel on your mouse to zoom in and out. So if you scroll one way, you're going to zoom out. Scroll this way, you're going to zoom in. Um, so the very first thing we're going to do is we're going to create our first shape of our chess piece. So to do this, we're going to go up here to where it says create. Some of you may have have this button available some of you may not so we're going to do it two ways you can either click here where it says create a sketch or you can go create and then create sketch and so these are your planes i just showed you with the cube so i'm going to start on this plane i believe that is my right plane some of your screens will change to actually view the right plane mine did not so if yours does what mine just did just come over here and click on the right view and this is what you should see So the first thing you're going to do is we're going to create a line. So again, two different ways to do this. You, if yours has the line option available up here, you can just click it or you can go create and then line. My starting point is going to be this circle right here where the axis is meet. So you'll see this blue square. That blue square is very important every time. So click right here. Do not hold the mouse down when you're creating a line. You just click once. And then you're going to bring your line up. I'm going to make mine about 50 millimeters. I'm going to click. And that's my first line. Your second line, you'll just come over here and click. And then you're going to create a shape similar to mine here. It doesn't have to be perfect. As long as it looks somewhat like mine, it's fine. Just continue clicking and bring it down to this red line. And then you're going to bring it back to where we started on the circle. And make sure you have that blue square, that blue outline square there. And click. So if you notice this changed shape, that means that that is a complete shape. It does not have any um, broken lines in it or anything. It's a shape. So the next step of what we're going to do is we're going to use the circle tool to put a circle here at the top. So click Create. Highlight circle, press center diameter circle. So what that means is wherever we click is going to be the center point of our circle and the circle is going to move in and out based on how we move the mouse. So you're going to put your circle right here on the upper right hand corner of that strange shape we just made. So again, notice I have the blue square. That's very important. Make sure you have the blue square. Click once and then just move your mouse out to make your circle. So I'm going to make mine about that big. So I have my circle. I have my shape. Before we can move on to the next step, we have one more line we have to create. So we're going to go up here to where it says create line. And your last line needs to be started right here on this upper right hand corner where we started our circle. So again, blue square. Click it. You're going to bring that line straight up to where it makes a blue X on your top of your circle. It has to have the blue X. And then you just click. So those are the three components you're going to sketch so far. Got your shape, got your circle, and you have this extra line. We're going to do one more thing before we finish this sketch. So what we're going to do is here where it says constraints, we're going to drop down that menu and it says horizontal vertical. Click that button and then zoom in down here on this lower line here of our shape. 
So if you notice, my line is not straight. It comes up off this axis line, off this red line, and then down here at the bottom, it meets it again. So if we were to actually print this project the way it is like this, it would give us problems because the bottom piece wouldn't be flat. So it's going to um, change the way the shape prints out, and it's going to mess up if we were to print it. So this horizontal vertical tool we just clicked on, under constraints, if you click this bottom line, uh, right there, now that line is straight. It made it perfectly horizontal. So if we were to print this, it would print flat and perfect, and we wouldn't have any issues. So now that we've done our shape, our circle, our line, and then we've used the horizontal vertical constraint tool on this bottom line, you can press either finish sketch right here, or you can press finish sketch up here at the top. Okay, so we have all three of these pieces. You notice, notice this line that we created right here is now divided up our circle. So we have half of it, and then this half is over here. The next step is we're going to go create, and we're going to come down to revolve and click on that. So revolve tool is exactly what it sounds like. We're going to revolve half of the shape on the axis to make it a complete 360 degree shape. So you're going to click on this part of your body, and then the part that the circle cut off, and then half of our circle. We don't want to click on this half right here. And then over here where it says axis, you're going to press where it says select, and we're going to rotate it on this axis here because this is the half of our project. So if you click that, and then press OK, you now have your full chest piece. If you want to change the view of how you're viewing the chess piece, hold down shift on your keyboard, press down on your scroller wheel on your mouse, and it'll let you completely change your view, and you can look 360 degrees top or bottom of your chess piece. So this is how mine turned out. Yours will probably look a little different. Um, what I want you to do is to try and go back so this is the undo button up here. If you ever want to go back and change something you've done, you're going to press the undo button here. And then down here on the lower part, you also have your sketch timeline, which shows you every single step in order that you did to this project. So what I want you to do is either you can start over, and you can just delete this, just press the undo button until it goes away, or you can press the undo button until you get back to your sketch. So now I'm back on the sketch plane. I'm going to change this back to how we had it. I want you to add some sort of personal detail to it that we didn't do in our tutorial. So you can change the top. Um, for example, I can completely get rid of this circle. And then if I go to the line tool and just start, if I start here, come up and do something like this, this, this probably isn't going to look very pretty and I like that and then bring it back here press finish sketch and then if we go back and revolve that again so again I'm going to press my three bodies my axis I've changed completely changed the way that that looks so I want you to go back and do your own personal touch to this project before you save it and turn it in When you're ready to save this project, here's how you're going to do it. You're going to go, first you're going to click here and press save. You're going to title it your last name, so mine would be Parks, and then mini project one. Yours will automatically have this chose, I believe. And I'm just going to press save. So Parks Mini Project 1, because this is our first mini project, I'm going to press save. And that's all you have to do to save it. And later in the class, if you choose to print this project out, I will just have you email me this file and I'll be able to print it for you. So go back, add your own personal touch, and then save this project and you're done for the day.